one of the things that I'm working on personally is, um, in my mind, uh, I'm already going to be a successful uh, actor and musician. I have all kinds of plans to do with those things. And I am so certain of that, that I've already started thinking about what the things I want to do when that's already the case. Um, maybe uh, out there for some people, but that's that's where I'm at. And that's what this show is about, giving me a chance to speak my truth. So if I was to explain to people later on, well, not that later on, actually pretty close to now, but if I was to explain to them um, how I kind of changed uh, my mental perspective on things, how I um, was able to manifest, you know, this apartment, the, the jobs that I'm going to be doing as an actor and, and the things I'll be doing as an artist, the musician, people are going to be asking, how did you do that? And um, one of the things I'm looking forward to is, is you know, people think that at a, you get to a certain age and um, then you can't do whatever it is you want to do. And so for me, because I'm a little bit more mature, um, then, I, you know, I think I'm looking forward to being the person that people say, well, there's an example of somebody who, who shows that you don't have to be at any particular age to do whatever it is you want. So if I'm explaining the different things that... Of, uh, are, are hugely important to me the very first thing i talk about is words um, the words that come out of your mouth um one of my favorite books i talked about in one of my other IGTV shows igtv even is the four agreements and um this book talks about it very very powerfully it talks about how powerful our word is um, we can, I mean, it talks about, you know, uh, the example of, of Hitler. Look what Hitler did uh, in the negative sense, uh, you know, convincing an entire nation of people to go out to, to war and, and, uh, and look at the consequences of that in World War II. Um, and then conversely, you know, people can have, uh, you know, whether it's um, the words of Jesus or Buddha or Muhammad, and these words have gone out and touched millions of people and uh, in a positive way so in every day-to-day -day sense of the word because you know when you talk in big scope of things like wars and religion and uh, spirituality but for me if someone is coming to me and wanting to to understand where i'm coming from um i would want to like talk to them about it in day-to-day -day things i think sometimes we we stick a sword in ourselves because we say negative things about ourselves and I've become hyper aware of this and I, I sometimes find myself talking and I catch myself and I go, oh, let me just take that back again because I, I've started to become really aware of so, the little negative things we can sometimes say about us. Well, that's never going to happen for me or something. And then we just move on. I'm like, whoa, 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 stop. What did you just say? Because, you know, when you... When a person is saying, you know, well, I'm never going to be successful or, um, well, I'm never good looking enough for that. Or these little passing comments that we make about ourselves and um, agreements that we've made uh, somewhere along the line. Oh, that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not really good enough, good enough, talented wise. I'm not really good looking enough. Um, I'm not tall enough. I'm not skinny enough. What, whatever the different thing is. And then we, we convince ourselves that that's what we are. Um, I'm stupid. It talks about this in the book. You know, a person is told when they're a child, you're stupid, shut up. And that sounds simple, right? But a, 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 uh, it could be a, a drunken parent or it could be a parent who's just angry or tired or stressed and he says, shut up, you're so stupid. And they don't necessarily mean you are stupid. They could be just tired. But you take that on board and you start to think, well, maybe I am stupid and maybe I should be quiet. Do you know what I mean? And it's words are that powerful. And... On, on the flip side, you know, I remember moments with the people I've met in my life who've really touched touched my soul, and and those people would say things to you that stays with you. I mean, I would think about I'm thinking about a particular moment now, and it just gives me like goosebumps thinking about it. Do you know what I mean? This almost beautiful, perfect moment that stays with you. That's powerful. That's magic. In the book here, I'm going to read a little bit of it to you because I think it really kind of expresses it very, very clearly. It says, um, the word is not just a sound or a written symbol. 
The word is a force. It is a power you have to express and communicate, to think and thereby to create the events in your life. You can speak. What other animal on the planet can speak? The word is the most powerful tool you have as a human. It is like a tool of magic. And so, when I say things like magic is real, it is. Literally. Um, and again, uh, you know, um, in the movie, What the Bleep Do We Know? It talks about this direct link between quantum physics and spirituality. There are some really powerful things. People think, oh, that's some woo-woo nonsense. You know, magic is real. Come on, please. You know, oh, you're going to take out a wand and do Harry Potter. No, it's, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about actual magic. The ability, you, you can, in a sentence, change a person's day, their hour, their whole life by just saying something nice to them. Tell them, you know what? You are beautiful. Seriously. And not have anything behind it. Just say, look, you're beautiful. Like, because there's a tree and that's just a fact. I, I do, people, I know, I, I can be unnerving to people because I'm just that direct uh, with people sometimes. Because I, you, so my instinct, my intuition tells me I need to say this right now. They need to hear me say this. Because sometimes then the other uh, flip side of it is that people can be very manipulative. They understand the power of words and they play with them and, and they mess with people's minds. And that is not cool. That is a more subtle form of, of, uh, of uh, well, subtle depends on your point of view, but, but it's a more kind of like, you know, um, shady way of doing it, not so openly. It's a more covertly um, manipulative. And, and that, can be, that can really mess up with people. And then, and then what happens is when somebody comes on and says something genuinely, uh, giving them a compliment, and the person reacts because other people who've manipulated them before have said nice things. And so therefore what you say that's nice because, and this is again, the power of, of words and it can just mess with people's minds. But to bring it back down to basics, how would I explain to somebody else? Well, how do that, how do you like be conscious of the words that you say and, uh, and make a difference in your life? Well, I tell you the simple truth from making these videos. I've made over 50 IGTV videos now. Um, and 32, I think 33, uh, in the last uh, two or three months. And when you're going back editing, some, some of the videos are just running straight through, uh, other ones I've gone back and edited. And I've noticed when I go back and edit, sometimes how I, I still am slipping into saying these kind of, like I'll say something like, oh, I'm crazy or something like that. I'm, I don't mean I am literally crazy, but it's like this thought in my mind going, well, uh, you know, they probably think I'm crazy. And there it is right there. I can see myself doing it. So one of the things that's been really powerful for me in, in, in improving this and not saying negative things about myself and uh, being aware of when I'm slipping into that is it has been through watching the videos that I've been making and editing them and noticing the difference in the video before it was edited and after because I took those negative things out. And and also then you become aware of the of the tone of voice. Sometimes I'm talking and it's a bit kind of like, and you're like, wow. That's, and then other times you can see the genuine enthusiasm and energy coming out of me. So, you know, I would say that I've learned the power of the word firsthand by watching the videos of myself. Um, and it's it's an ongoing process. It's not something that you're just going to all of a sudden overnight, I'm not going to say anything negative about myself. But it, it's, you know, just being, being aware for me, it's an awareness of how powerful your words are. And, you know, it says another little chapter here before we uh, wrap up the video here that I think is just really important. It says, yes, depending on how it is used, the word or your words can set you free or it can enslave you even more than you know. All the magic you possess is based on your word. Your word is pure magic and misuse of your word is black magic. This is ancient Taltak wisdom in the Four Agreements. I strongly, strongly suggest if you haven't read that book already and you're interested to go and read it. Some very, very um, deep concepts in there and things that you, I'm still wrestling with uh, and, and think about all the time. But... I just wanted to talk today about the power of our words and that is one of the first things that I'm going to talk about uh, to people and I'm going to talk about this book and and for me it's about it's not about telling somebody what they should do it's not about um 
uh, like there's only one way to get there. This has just been my path. This is how I've uh, been doing it. This is the thing, these are the things that I'm aware of. And moving forward into the next videos, I'm going to talk about the other different things. Uh, one part of it is having a, an appreciation mindset. Uh, another part of it is understanding how important having fun is. There's definitely little small things. They're very, very uh, simple, but very, very powerful things to be aware of. And I think it's how do we switch from, from uh, having a mindset of, oh, God, the word is out to get me. Um, and being a victim to uh, to turning it around and being the cause of your life as opposed to being just sitting back in it and it hitting you um, and it's it's switches that you're making your awareness uh, understanding how the world works the kind of universal laws that are out there um, I hope you found this video uh, interesting uh, this is something that I feel very passionate about and um, making these videos gives me an opportunity to talk about things that I, I, I feel deeply about and, and that I'm going to be talking about for many years to come. So nothing but love, nothing but love.